हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड हेल्थी एट योर होम या आई एम योर मेंटर शोभना एंड आई एम हियर टू टीच यू साउंड चैप्टर हियर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी वुड बी लर्निंग दैट हाउ वी हियर साउंड थ्रू अवर इयर्स इन लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी लर्न दैट साउंड नीड्स अ मीडियम टू प्रोपागेट एंड साउंड कैन ट्रैवल थ्रू सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैसेस सो वी हियर साउंड थ्रू अवर इयर्स वी ऑल नो दैट राइट वेल कैपेसिटी ऑफ लिसनिंग टू दिस साउंड इज डिफरेंट इन ईच एंड एवरी केस दैट टू डिपेंड्स ऑन सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ डिफरेंट इयर्स सो शेप ऑफ आउटर पार्ट ऑफ अवर इयर इज लाइक अ फनेल जस्ट ऑब्जर्व योर इयर इन द मिरर Isn't it like a funnel? Yes, it is. When sound enters it, it travels down a canal at the end of which there is a thin stretched membrane which is eardrum. Okay? So, we listen to the sound through eardrum. It performs an important function to understand what the eardrum does. let us build a tin can model for the eardrum we can understand the functionality of eardrum through it for this you need to take a plastic or a tin can and cut its end stretch a piece of rubber balloon across one end of the can and fasten it with the rubber band now put four or five grains of dry cereal on the stretch rubber or you can take cup of rice okay now ask your friend to speak hooray hooray from the open end and observe what happens to the grain well it's not compulsory that you speak hooray hooray only but you can make any type of sound and you can just see that grains they are vibrating they jump up and down as you can see here so that stretch membrane would vibrate and so your grains would vibrate okay so this is how a uh, sound waves when they strike on eardrum eardrum also vibrates so next we are going to understand that how human ear works okay so eardrum is also same as the membrane we placed on that tin can right so how ear works how human ear works for that uh, you are given the human ear its diagram so first of all outer part of human ear is there and then from there that sound waves that enters into the ear canal and then it strikes on eardrum okay and eardrum vibrates so eardrum is like a stretch rubber sheet and sound vibrations they make the eardrum vibrates and the eardrum they sends a vibration to the inner ear now in inner ear also it is divided into various parts from there the signal goes to the brain and that is how we hear okay and here the various parts of human ear is shown and uh, inner ear eardrum and human ear is also shown so various parts of human ear and uh, it's working that is explained here okay to understand how human ear works here we are going to see one animated video on it which will help you to further understand the working and in our parts of our human ear and after that one more video i am giving here that will uh, help you understand that uh, which different parts are there in human ear and how you are going to label it okay so just understand that video of uh, drawing the human ear diagram carefully and how you are going to label it how each particular part works okay so study it carefully Have you ever wondered how sounds make their way from the source 
all the way to your brain? Take a trumpet, for instance. When it's played, it makes sound waves in the air. The outer ear catches the waves, which then travel through a narrow passageway called the ear canal. The sound waves reach the eardrum, which is a membrane roughly half the size of a dime. They make the eardrum vibrate, which in turn vibrates three tiny bones called the malleus, incus, and stapes. These bones amplify or increase the sound vibrations and send them to the cochlea. The cochlea is shaped like a snail and is the size of a garden pea. It is filled with fluid, and the sound vibrations make this fluid ripple, which creates waves. Hair like structures called stereocilia sit on top of hair cells and are grouped together as hair cell bundles inside the cochlea. The hair cells inside the cochlea ride these waves, and the hair bundles are moved. The hair bundle on top of the hair cell turns these movements into electrical signals. As the hair bundles are moved, ions rush into the top of the hair cells, causing the release of chemicals at the bottom of the hair cells. The chemicals bind to the auditory nerve cells and create an electrical signal, which travels along the auditory nerve to the brain. Different hair cells respond to different frequencies of sound. The hair cells at the base of the cochlea detect higher pitched sounds, such as a piccolo or flute. The hair cells toward the top of the spiral detect progressively lower pitched sounds, such as a trumpet or trombone. At the very top or apex of the spiral, the hair cells detect the lowest pitched sounds, such as a tuba. The auditory nerve carries the electrical signal to the brain, which interprets the messages as sounds that we recognize. And understand. So, in this image, you can see that human ear, its image is drawn, right? So, here, outer ear, outer part, it is called pinna, from which this uh, sound waves, it's collected from outer surrounding and it travels through ear canal. Now it passes through ear canal in form of waves and it strikes to eardrum. An eardrum vibrates because of the sound waves. And from there, they move to these three bones named malleus, incus and stepi. As you can see here, they are labeled with the three names, malleus, incus and stepi, which are shown in black color. Okay. And that uh, green color part is eardrum which when sound waves they reaches to eardrum, it vibrates. And then it reaches to malleus, incus and the, the stepi, these three bones which further amplifies the sound. And then the sound waves, they travels through this oval window and then they are in cochlea. Okay. And in this structure called cochlea, tiny hair-like structures are there which converts the sound waves into electrical signals and finally it sends it to the brain, okay? So this cochlea is having that tiny hair-like structures which finally uh, move, gives the movement to the tiny hairs, the sound waves and that movement of hair, different movement of this hair, it generates the neurotransmitters, say chemicals, which sends the signals to brain. And finally, human is able to understand various sounds, okay? So, ear, human ear can be divided into the three parts, outer ear, middle ear and inner ear, okay? So, this outer ear is known as penna, say auricle and uh, tympanic membrane, which is the eardrum on which when sound waves vibrates, sound waves uh, strikes, they vibrate, that eardrum vibrates. Middle ear contains three bones, malleus, incus and stepi, which further amplifies the sound and eustachian tube, which is connected to uh, nose and throat. Okay, this part of ear is connected to nose and throat through this eustachian tube. Okay, and that is why whenever you feel cold or cough at that time, uh, this particular portion of your ear that is just filled with that mucus and uh, 
sometimes uh, you feel uh, like you are not able to listen clearly when you are having cough or cold okay so this is just because of this and uh, inner ear contains cochlea in which tiny hair like structures are there which moves rhythmically when sound waves vibrates uh, strikes on it and finally this uh, waves are converted into electrical signals which reaches to which reaches to brain okay and also fluid is there in ear which balances your body when you dance when you move when you walk okay so it uh, maintains a balance of body okay so these very various parts of human ear are there hope all of you are clear with this so students after watching both the videos are you clear with how human ear works which different parts are there in human ear that how sound enters from the outer part of ear and it reaches to our brain and we are able to listen okay our vocal cords our voice box helps us to speak to produce voice and human ear our ear and our brain helps us to listen to the sound okay so this both part in our body are very much important and also to take care of our ear we must never put a sharp or pointed or hard thing into our ears otherwise it will damage the eardrum okay eardrum is so sensitive so that you must not uh, allowing any sharp thing to enter in your ear okay otherwise damaged eardrum can impair hearing okay person may become deaf there are number of cases when people put sharp thing to clean their ear clean their ear and uh, their eardrums are damaged so please be careful and never put a sharp thing in your ear even if you want to clean your ears for that you should be using that uh, cotton buds to clean your ears okay so take care of your ears take care of your health we will see you in next lecture till then stay home and stay safe and do your homework regularly okay students thank you